welcome to the fresh manna from El Betel Ministries. Today we're looking at what I have called God's electrifying word. In Genesis 1 verse 3, God said, let there be light and there was light. So electricity we know produces light. And in Mark 11, 14, Jesus said to the fig tree, let no man eat fruit of you hereafter forever he added the word forever when jesus spoke it the electrifying word of god hit that tree i mean we know from science that trees have life and the tree heard the word of god and it got burnt up it was that life was destroyed when jesus spoke the word the same word which god spoke in the beginning he said let there be light there was light so whenever God speaks, there is his word produces an electrifying power which goes forth and it does whatever he says it will do. In Psalms 97 and verse 3, it says a fire goeth before him and burneth his enemies. That's the power of the word of God. It's not just lightning, but it's lightning that literally consumes and destroys. His lightnings enlighten the world the hills melted like wax. That's what the scripture says. A fire goes before him and burneth up his enemies. His lightnings enlighten the world and the hills melted like wax. So when you and I speak the word of God, many times we are a little scared of talking to people. We wonder, is it really me or is it someone else? Is it God speaking? Or we wonder what the person is going to say. Friends, I want to tell you, if you speak the word of God and you're speaking the word of God with full knowledge that it is God who spoke, then speak without any fear. Because when you speak, that word goes and that word will bring forth fruit. Another scripture says in Isaiah, the word of God goes forth and it will not return void but it will accomplish that for which it went forth. So when you speak the word of God, know that the word of God is electrifying. The word of God does consume. It, can, it changes. It brings life. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for reminding us of the power of your word. When you speak, Lord, things happen because your word is electrifying. Your word is creative. And we just want to say thank you for allowing us to Take your holy word and speak it. Speak life into those who need Jesus. I ask you, Lord, this morning to bless thy word to our hearts, to our minds, and everyone who is listening to this word, Father, may they be empowered with your word even more than before. In Jesus' name, amen.